Well, that was weird. Um, I, I guess I've never been live for that long. Maybe you can only go live for a half hour because it kicked me off. <clears throat> so I don't know what happened there. But anyway, this story is um, super funny. So we would get in that fight over, we got in that huge fight over Super Mario Brothers and our neighbors down the street, um, it was like this husband and wife and they had two sons and my sister and me would, um, we would ask the mom if she wanted us to come uh, clean their house while they would like be like at like a sporting event or whatever. And we would do the worst job cleaning. We would not clean at all. We would just like shove everything into a closet. And then we would go into the boys room and play Super Mario Brothers for hours until it was close for them to come back. And then we would start cleaning, like acting like we were cleaning the whole time. And we totally would just go over there to play Super Mario Brothers. Hot mess, anyway. I forgot the name of those kids. Um, Brian, mm, I can't remember. My brothers would surely know. But anyway, um, hmm, now I don't know what to talk about. Mm, what else have I been doing on the quarantine? Um, I have, let's see, oh, I've been learning about stocks like crazy. I've been investing. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are into investing, but really getting into that. It's funny because I've always wanted to get into it. And I just like kind of accidentally just started looking at them and it kind of started making sense. So been investing. Did everybody get their $1,200? I got mine yesterday. They're not doing a very good job of the... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to see if that last video posted. I want to fix the name. They're not doing a very good job of the... Um, loans for uh for businesses but oh well um sorry guys i'm trying to fix something mm -hmm. somebody has to say something or i might end this because i really cannot think of anything else to talk about you're still staying at home you ain't leaving the house that's good um, I've only went, let's see, I went to Target once with a mask on and I went to the liquor store. Oh, when we were doing like a lot of drinking last week, we did have some fun. It was super nice last week and, um, we were renting scooters and getting our backpacks and taking scooters. <laughs> we went to the drive, we went through the, um, Walmart pharmacy drive through um, that was pretty fun and all the cars were just kind of the pharmacy people got a kick out of that and then we went to the liquor store and bought beer and put them in our backpacks and then we went to the river and got drunk and <laughs> and then our scooters rent got locked because we stayed out too long but um that was super fun definitely gonna do that again minus the alcohol but um, i think i might have taken the scooters away now because i haven't seen them been running like crazy definitely been getting fit um what else have I been doing? Reading a lot. I think the first part, like we were watching a lot of TV, drinking, playing music, got hella pissed off our neighbors a couple of times. Um, then let's see what else. Just really kind of self-development. Leonard School. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Did they ever figure out that's what you guys were doing? Also, what stocks are you looking into or watching? Um, no, they definitely did not figure out, but they for sure were like, com she would definitely complain about the shit job we did on cleaning the um, the house. It was bad. Like we, one time we um, just poured like, you know, like you're supposed to dilute the, um, she had like this um, mopping, I don't know. I'm just gonna say mop and glow, but I don't remember if that's what it was, but it was like some kind of mopping cleaner, like floor cleaner. And you're supposed to put like a cap of it um, in a bucket of water and the kind that we had at home, you could just squirt like directly on the floor. So we thought that's what it was and we didn't read the instructions. And so we squirted it, but it was like super concentrated and you couldn't even like walk on the floor without your feet sticking to it. Um, she definitely would complain. Okay. So stocks that I'm looking at, um, number one that on my radar is Boeing. Um, just because, uh, I've been in the aerospace industry yeah, it was a hot mess. I've been in the aerospace industry for quite a while. And so one thing that like Warren Buffett always says is 
like don't invest in companies that you don't understand invest in things you understand and i understand that company more than any other company just because um i'm very familiar with that industry and even though i don't really believe in them as a company thanks jerry <laughs> nice to see you um even though i don't really believe in their values and i think it's a super corrupt company um and they are definitely a big contributor contributor um, to fossil fuel emissions. Um, I'm invested in them because I think that they're going to get, I mean, they're going to, we do depend on those airplanes and travel needs to come back. Um, and so they're going to come back. And I feel like, I feel like if we could make some money off of them coming back and use that money to disrupt their industry, then that's not necessarily a bad thing because the disruption and when i say disruption i mean going from like fossil fuel burning jet aircraft to um, electric aircraft and i mean we're going to see that happen on a large scale not just um, on a small scale so even though i don't necessarily believe in boeing as a company if i can make some money off of them and use that money sort of against them um, then i don't see that as a bad thing so top of my list is boeing um here's one you guys should look at e hong um that's um, a drone company. Any way for us to make some money with you yet? No, we're going to stay private as long as we can. Thank you for asking, though. Um, yeah, we're, we want to try to stay private. Um, it's tempting for sure. But um, so look into Ehong. They've kind of been, it's E-H-A-N-G. They've been dropped. This is definitely a long-term stock. Um, but... I would say before you, and again, I understand this industry. This is electric aircraft, passenger drones. That's what industry happy takeoff is. That's the name of my company. Um, so I wouldn't invest in like, like for me personally, like I'm not going to invest in like, um, like some kind of like power tool for like construction. Cause I don't know anything about construction or whatever. I love that about using negative money for positivity. Yeah. I mean, because I'm like, ah, their stocks are so cheap right now. Like, I know we can make money off of this. So, um, but I wouldn't invest in something that like I didn't understand. Like I understand um, aerospace and aviation. So that's, I'm not invested in anything that doesn't have to do with that, but I'm not saying that's what you guys should do. But like, if you look at Ehong, their stocks are kind of been falling, but that's because they just became public like in the last six months and um, nobody really knows what they are yet, but um, what they're mass producing passenger drones. And my name is my our company's called Happy Takeoff. Find me on LinkedIn if you want to talk like business or see what I'm doing company wise. Find me on LinkedIn. That's where the business stuff is. Um, I don't really talk about my company that much on here. When I'm on LinkedIn, I'm 100% professional. YouTube is kind of like where I connect with you guys on a personal level. Level. I don't do Facebook at all period like i just don't like I, I can't take the drama and the political arguments from family and friends like eh. um and then instagram is just like random me like posting pictures um that's kind of personal as well but so linkedin for business here for talking or whatever um anyway you're welcome jerry thank you for asking um so so ehong um it, that's definitely one you want to hold on to for a while. But the reason I'm invested in them is because they, um, I believe in them as a company. They, they're the furthest along as far as like passenger, passenger Jones, um, with a, a E H A N G. Some people say E hang, but I think they pronounce it E hong, but it's spelled E hang with no space in between. Look it up on YouTube. They have some cool. Yep. There you go. That's it. Yeah, check it out on YouTube. Um, no, you had it with the A. <laughs> you had it right the first time. E-H-A-N-G. Um, and look at their, yeah, yep, you're welcome. And look at what they're doing with um, like mass production. And, and so they're kind of low key. A lot of people don't know about them yet, but when they go, um, when they go, um, into uh when they when they start getting more popular it's what am i trying to say give me a minute okay can you link your instagram in the description yes i will link my instagram in the description um i'm not on there that much but i will i, I try to post like once a week but anyway 
LinkedIn, I'm on every day, but it's like I said, it's all business on there. So I don't talk about anything. And I do ask you respectfully, please like keep, I'm not like, I don't care if you come on there and say legacy, but I'm, I probably won't reply if you talk about like rapping on LinkedIn, because I try to keep that strictly like CEO, happy takeoff, aerospace related on LinkedIn. So I would appreciate your, I'll follow you back if you're on there. If you add me, I definitely will. Yeah, they're a drone company. Thank you, Jerry. Um, but if, if you add me on LinkedIn and you talk about legacy, I probably won't reply just because I try to stay super professional on there. Link, on YouTube, it's the hot mess. I don't care. We're 100% authentic on here. I'm not saying I'm not authentic on LinkedIn. You guys know what I mean. It's like work versus, you know, play. Um, anyway, so the reason I'm invested in them is because they're the furthest along than any other drone company. And, and not just any drone company, but like, um, thanks, Leonard. Um, they're the furthest along as far as certification, mass production, and you know how we talk about like flying cars or flying taxis. They're the ones that um, are the furthest along than any of the other companies. And um, I have a drone too, but I still haven't learned how to fly it that good. But also there's a really cool company called Fluidity Technologies. And I was actually on the phone with their CEO last week. He used to be an astronaut. They're a super cool company. And what they make is like this joystick that you can connect your drone to. And then it makes like piloting super, super easy. And you can get your part 107 license. I haven't got it yet. It's like $400. It's actually pretty reasonable for, yeah, get the joystick, um, fluidity. Fluidity Technologies. I need to link all of this stuff in the description. Okay, let me like make a note because I probably won't go back and watch this whole video. I'm linking my Instagram. I'm going to link my Insta. I'm going to link Fluidity because if you like drones and you suck at flying them like I do, then get this joystick um, because I'm going to get one and I'm super excited. There's this, there's this lady that's probably like 40, which is about my age and she's never flown a drone and then this guy like shows her how to use the joystick one time and it's on youtube and she's like flying it perfectly after like a one minute lesson i'm like oh yeah that's definitely what i need it's like a little bit less than 400 dollars for the joystick um okay so i'm gonna link my instagram and the fluidity link i think that was it um i, I would link my linkedin but if you guys want to <laughs> oh is that you is that that leonard oh shit what up fluid i didn't even realize that was you yeah the joysticks are awesome dang throwback i was just thinking about you guys like yesterday and how much of an ego i had when i used to hang out with y'all oh my goodness mm -mm -mm. Mm. Tulsa in the house. Are you still in Tulsa? This is one of, you guys, this is one of my old friends um, from Tulsa, the Leonard School. We used to do, we never actually recorded, oh my gosh, we were gonna do a show together and the power went out at the club we were at. I don't remember why the power went out, but it was hot as, we were sweating dicks in that building. It was like 100 degrees outside and there was no power and um it was a hot mess it was your birthday party um it never happened because there was no power i don't remember why there was no power but there just wasn't anyway um we definitely tried didn't we, we we've had some we've had some fun parties together <laughs> lots of crazy memories there party bus you went to my birthday and i went to your birthday but um you am for you are for now been traveling and working in movie sets. Oh, cool. That's awesome. We definitely need to talk about that. When I was in California, I, I, yeah, I'm in, I live in Wichita right now, but I was in California. Well, as you guys probably saw on a lot of my videos for like, um, gosh, like really from like November all the way to lockdown. Yeah, they were good times, a little too good. Um, I can't recover from that kind of shit anymore, but we definitely had some good times. Oh my gosh, we had too much fun together. Um, but I was in California, like Southern California from like November all the way to um, till lockdown. And I mean, I would touch back in Wichita like for a couple days and go right back to Cali and I really miss it. But so I'm super grateful yeah, we should. I'm super grateful for um, the nice warmer weather that we've been getting. 
um, because I get super depressed when it's cold and I'm kind of working on that, but um, I'm enjoying the warm weather. So super grateful for that. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end this. I'm going to get some work down. I love you so much. Thanks for tuning in and I'll put links in the description and we'll do this again. This was fun. Mwah. Have a beautiful day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay home. Peace.